Good afternoon. Good evening to everybody. And sat there yet a little early. We are signed on here for Compton, which we will start at about eight o'clock. Three and a half minutes from now. Hello, Kim Morrison. You're wonderful. Hi, Kim. Hope your knees are doing good. We always sign on a little early just to be sure I can make this work right. And we will start at 8 o'clock, and we have a grandfather clock over there that's going to go off, you might hear. And that'll be our signal. Ah, that's good. Hi, Ryan. And Carlos. All right. Hi, Carlos. When I miss start, you. When it start us. When it start us. When it start us. When it start us. Isn't that good evening? I don't know. Oh, when it start us. Good morning. <laughs> hey, look. Hello, Bob. Hola. 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 hola, hola. I got it. <laughs> that I can do. Hola, Carlos. We miss you. We miss you a lot. Carlos, I miss my hugs. <laughs> Tracia, Trish, Trisha, Trisha. One and a half minutes. <laughs> hope everybody had a hope everybody had a good day today. Hello, Amanda. Oh, Amanda, you're so good. <laughs> Always there. Good evening to you, Trisha. A little less than a minute, and the grandfather clock will start going off, and we will start our counseling, which we'll be doing. Page 127 in the prayer book. Hello, Michael Cavanaugh. I know what your brother's doing tonight. He's watching Thursday night football, isn't he? <laughs> Some team called the Eagles playing. We should have our shirts on. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't have any Eagles shirts. <laughs> That's a. Amanda likes your sweater. Oh, you like my, my pumpkins? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I don't know. The Giants, there goes the grandfather clock. Oh, 8 o'clock. So, it is 8 o'clock. And we will start on page 127 with an order for Compline. I think I'll wait till it dings eight times. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our <clears throat> sins to God. All together. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we have, have sinned, sinned against you through our own in thought and word and deed, and, and in what, what we have left undone. For, For the, the sake, sake of your Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ Forgive, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And we're going to go straight to Psalm 4, which is right below the Alleluia on page 128, and we're going to say it responsibly by whole verse, and Susan's going to lead us. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. Your mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace at once, I fall asleep. For you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. And we're going to turn over to page 131. And the top part of the page is Psalm 34. Must be the shortest psalm in the Bible. Two verses. We'll do those two verses, Susan. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift, Lift up, up your hands, hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless, bless you out of Zion. Zion. Glory, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. We're going to skip down to the second scripture there, Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We're going to do one more scripture over on the next page, 132, the last scripture there, 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And following there on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. All together, the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And our cry will come unto you. Let us pray. And we go to the second collect on page 133. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changeless, changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to do one more collect on the next page. And it will be the last one, actually. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, to my favorite part of Compline, where we've got some time for prayers. Uh, and it says there first that silence may be kept, and I always like to do that. Uh, we're going to have a minute of silence to pray silently or just to spend time in silence with God to listen 
And I'm going to suggest one thing for you to think about today. I was in a, a board meeting, Kellerman Foundation board meeting earlier this morning, and we were asked as a total board to think of things that have given us joy during this pandemic. Things that have given us joy. It's not hard to think of things that have given us frustration or difficulty or maybe anger even, but think of things that have given us joy. And as you think of some things that have given you joy, just give thanks for it. We're going to spend a minute in silent prayer, starting now. Well, Lord, we just have so many things to be thankful for. We thank you for this pandemic, frankly, and we thank you for the different things it has brought forth in our life that we had never thought of before. And we thank you for the way it's going to change our lives and, and change the world in a way that will make all things work together for good in accordance with your will. We pray for your blessing on all those who are suffering from the COVID virus. We pray for the healthcare workers that are ministering to them. We pray for the frontline responders, the people that ride in the ambulances to deal with somebody who's called in sick, sometimes deathly ill. And we just thank you for those folks, and we pray you put your guardian angels around them and keep them safe and keep them healthy. We pray for each one of our family members that you put guardian angels around them and keep them safe and keep them healthy and bless them all in accordance with their needs. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Uh -huh. Amen. Okay. And Amanda, you put a good one up there that doggone it, I forgot. So I'm going to just take time to do it right now. We pray for our country. We pray for our country, especially as we approach this election and uh, we pray that no matter how it comes out that on the other side of this election you would enable us and help us and move us to be less divided move us to be together move us to move forward in a way that's good for us all and to heal and diminish the divisions we now have to deal with in Jesus name amen, amen. okay now then we are at the bottom of page 134. God is waking, O Lord, and, and God, God is sleeping. sleeping. Oops, that it wait. Is that where I'm supposed to be? Here we are. Sorry. God, God is waking, O Lord, and God is sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior. Whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Compline is short and sweet little service, <laughs> but it's a good thing to do as we prepare to, to uh, sleep through the night. I'd like everybody to pray for the people in Colorado. There's another fire and they're evacuating people. And that fire is close to our relatives, so. <laughs> it is. <laughs> It is, so, crazy world. 
Well, thank you all for joining us, and everybody have a blessed evening. We'll see you next Thursday. Sweet dreams. We'll be here back next Thursday. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us.